during her prime, Spirit was the second best killer in the game. However, when she made her debut on the PTB for patch 2.2.0, her power was really rough around the edges. For starters, when she was phase walking, survivors used to be able to track her location through her moans, which automatically made her invisibility almost entirely pointless. And that would have been a complete disaster, but you shouldn't forget that on the PTB, Spirit had absolutely no audio indication when she started using her power. This still allowed her to mind game survivors in loops and even made some players recognize her as a potentially strong killer. Another thing that made the original Spirit feel a little underwhelming was her power recharge time. Back then it used to take 20 seconds, so if you depleted the power gauge completely, you basically turned yourself into a generic M1 killer for almost half a minute. And that hurt Spirit a lot, because I remind you that she's one of the slower killers, with a movement speed of 4.4 meters per second, just like for example Huntress or Hag. But unlike these two killers, on the PTB Spirit had the increased terror radius of 32 meters, which gave survivors more than enough time to react if she was trying to catch them off guard while being uncloaked. On the bright side, Spirit used to be much more efficient at tracking survivors, because her base kit allowed her to see pools of blood from injured survivors while phase walking. It was especially helpful on the indoor maps, where grass didn't get in the way, and once you saw the first puddle, there was simply no way you could lose your target. And like that wasn't enough, the devs actually gave Spirit collision with survivors when she was using her ability. In simple words, it meant that if she accidentally bumped into you during the phase walk, she would get stuck in place, and this would instantly let her know that there was a survivor in front of her. And I do realize that giving this killer such insane tracking tools might look like complete lunacy to modern survivors, but ironically, back in the day, it was the only way to make her work. The thing is that, for god knows what reason, behavior made the hissing effect from phase walking extremely loud on the killer's end. So loud that even the noises from an injured ace could barely pierce through it, and we all know that injured aces don't like to hold back their emotions. In other words, if it wasn't for blood and collision while phase walking, spirit players would literally have to gamble every time they wanted to attack someone. By the time the PTB was over, the community had come to the conclusion that even though spirit seemed like a pretty interesting character, she absolutely needed some tweaking before going live. And to their credit, behavior actually made an honest attempt to rebalance her power. It took them about three weeks, and on the 18th of September 2018, we were presented with the revised version of the spirit. First thing they did was reduce her terror radius to 24 meters, so that she didn't feel that helpless when her power was on cooldown. Second, they made the noise from her power less deafening and removed the blood visibility during the phase walk. These changes were meant to make spirit players stop focusing exclusively on the visual cues during the chase and use audio instead, which was much more fair. The third and probably most important change from the PTB was that the hissing from the spirit's ability was now audible to survivors as well, but only if they were standing farther than 8 meters from the husk. So no need to be paranoid anymore when sitting on gens. And lastly, the devs buffed the spirit's passive ability, which occasionally made her leave behind still copies of herself that were supposed to make her movement a little more confusing. I hate to admit it, but I still fall for this every now and then, especially when this glitchy thing happens when she's about to turn around the corner. I swear it looks like she starts double backing, but in reality she's just going forward. On the PTB, the duration of this effect was so short, I honestly doubt that anyone even noticed it. If you did, let me know in the comments. Overall, I'd say this patch was a mixed bag with buffs roughly balancing out the nerves. However, in just 9 days, the situation will begin to rapidly change in favor of the spirit. Because, I don't know, the marketing department for behavior wanted to make her more appealing because they suddenly remembered they still had to sell new skins for her? Anyway, patch 2.2.1 was what started Spirit's path to glory. It made her power recharge time faster by reducing it from 20 seconds to 15. In just a month, there was another update with more buffs to her power, but this time they were much more radical. Patch 2.3.0 removed all moaning sounds from Spirit when she was phasing. From now on, the moans will stay with her husk and not actually follow her around the map, ruining her disguise. Next, it reworked the conditions under which survivors could hear the phasing sound, and namely, now it was audible only to survivors standing outside of the husk's stereo radius, and those that were standing within it couldn't hear anything and had to rely on their game sense in order to determine what the killer was actually doing. These changes made Spirit a nightmare to go against. She wasn't exactly weak even before the buff, but now that the devs made it almost impossible to track her during the chase, she climbed the tier list so high she was literally breathing down the nurse's neck. The forums and socials were boiling with survivor's rage. People simply refused to accept the reworked spirit because of the 
extremely limited counterplay options she offered. When she started phase walking, you had zero information about her movement, whereas she could see your scratch marks, she could track you through your grunts and the sound of your footsteps, and while you were desperately moving the camera around trying to find any means of protection, she was already behind you ready to attack. And god forbid you were injured at that moment, cause in this case you couldn't even try and confuse her with your scratch marks, cause she would hear your cries of pain anyway and you'd be dead before you could say fuck. And that was not even the scariest thing about Spirit in this patch. Shortly after the buff, Spirit mains discovered a trick that allowed them to outplay survivors basically without doing anything at all. I'm of course referring to the infamous standstill mind game, when during the chase Spirit freezes in place for a couple of seconds and pretends that she started phasing. Seeing this, naive survivors automatically assume that she's actually trying to get on their side of the loop, and they start moving towards her husk in order to be as far as possible from her when she uncloaks. But surprise, surprise, noob! You plagued yourself. Realizing that they were probably stuck with this for the next several months, if not years, survivors began devising strategies to outplay the new spirit. Some of them turned out to be right on the surface, like for example bringing Iron Will. Before the nerf, it used to completely remove all cries from injured survivors, and it was exactly what you needed versus spirit, because it made her rely only on your scratch marks, even if you were injured. Spirits reacted to it by mass equipping Strider, which has exactly the opposite effect, making survivor grunts of pain 50% louder. And since at that time it had the additive effect, it partially trumped Iron Will and still made survivors cry but at 50% the normal volume. Meanwhile, the community kept trying to find something in the spirit's animation that would give them a crystal clear indication that she was actually phasing. For example, some people suggested that you need to look at her hair, because supposedly while phasing it goes straight up and stops moving. Others said that her legs started twitching. Then there was this glass shard theory, where you were supposed to look at the yellow spikes sticking out of her body and wait until they started glowing, and that's how you knew that she was using her ability. But my favorite one was from the guy who made a video explaining that you need to memorize the sequence of the poses Spirit goes through during her idle animation. Because according to him, after she becomes invisible and the husk takes her place, the sequence resets and starts playing from a completely random pose, which breaks the animation loop and thus lets you know that she's phasing. While some of these theories eventually ended up being true, in real games they were mostly useless, because they implied completely unrealistic scenarios scenarios where, for example, Spirit had to be standing up close to you so that you could see all the micro changes of her modal, where she was supposed to be wearing specific skins cause some of them didn't have the shards and hair animation, and most importantly they implied that the phasing transition happened when she was standing in the middle of nowhere and not hiding behind an obstacle. By that time most of the survivors had already put up with her existence, and personally I even started liking going versus her cause it was an interesting challenge and also I messed up in the had, so there you go. The first signs that the situation might soon change appeared only in the fall of 2019. Patch 3.4.0 brought two very important changes to the spirit's mechanics. First of all, she no longer had the collision with survivors while phasing, so she couldn't identify their presence by bumping into them. And second, the devs finally gave her a window vaulting animation. I know it's hard to believe, but prior to this patch, spirit actually didn't have it. When she vaulted, survivors simply saw her freeze in front of the window, and then a second later she magically spawned on the other side giving you a hit, and possibly a heart attack. I think this feature was completely broken, so I guess it's good that they removed it. As much as survivors wanted to believe that this patch was the start of the spirit's demise, in reality it was not quite true. In fact, during the next two years, spirit didn't see a single update that would alter her power even slightly. The actual patch that finally made spirit haters happy came out only on the 19th of October 2021 and surprisingly it didn't take a lot of changes. All they had to do was to make her phasing sound directional. Yes, yes my fellow survivors, we did it, our cries were heard. All those rage tweets, all those angry posts on reddit, they were not in vain. Of course this patch had more stuff related to spirit. For example some of her add-ons received a rework, and she now featured her own custom chase music, but honestly I can't remember people talking about it too much, cause compared to the directional phasing sound, all this was just not important. Spirit mains were devastated, some of them even claimed that their favorite killer was absolutely dead now, because survivors could literally hear which direction they were coming from. And to this all I can say is, 
Welcome to the game! Sucks when you can't ignore half of the game mechanics by just standing in a pallet, doesn't it? And for the record, no, I don't think that this update killed Spirit. She's still more viable than half of the roster because of her speed and the fact that survivors still have to guess when exactly she's gonna uncloak. It's just now you actually have to play the game and not hope that people are gonna give you free downs just because you randomly decided to stand still in front of a window or a pallet. The final change to Spirit as of today came out in the patch 6. 6.7.0, where the devs removed the ability to burn her while phasing and thus cancel her power. Something that I didn't even know was possible until about three years ago when I accidentally blinded my friend in KYF when he was trying to phase walk through a narrow corridor. Anyway, the glory days of spirit are gone. I don't think the devs will ever buff her again to the point where she's gonna be able to compete with the nurse just like before. So yeah, what can I say? Hope you didn't buy too many skins for her, loser.